Hey everybody, it's DJ Jerry here with Shot Time, and uh, had some questions on uh, a couple things regarding into the setup, and I'm going to walk you guys through that. So one of the things, uh, what what I'm going to show you is uh, how to change this little icon. So when you go into 2D view, you don't get this. It says freedom, 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 and then these are your core fixtures. Uh, how do you make that setup so it looks like realistically? What your what fixtures you're using i'm going to walk you through that here so first of all we're going to start with the freedom pars because i know that there's a freedom par in the actual folders that uh, are provided with show express so what we're going to do is we're going to click on image and when you click on image you'll see a folder here that says show we're going to scroll down and you can see freedom part now it's not the actual freedom five um, but at least the fixture is similar it has the same style so you obviously will know that it's your freedom par. Um, hit open and you'll see that icon changes there uh, to the freedom par. Now when you click on this again, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna save? Click yes. And when you click on it again, you'll see that it is saved as a fixture. Now, the core three by three in 2D view, this is what it shows you. And it's gonna show you the update. When you go back into editor, it now looks like the freedom pars. Uh, and I will, I'll show you placement and, and things like that. Um, depending on what your setup is, I'm going to show you exactly how to kind of move those things around so it makes a little bit more sense for you when you're in your room or in your setting. But going back into setup, uh, when you click on core 3x3, you can see it gives you this flat panel. And obviously that's not what we want. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on image and you can look through here. Now I'm going to just give you a heads up. They don't actually have the core 3 by 3s uh, fixtures in the 2D view fixture mode or in the folder. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go find one. And to do that, we obviously, uh, we can just close this. What we need to do is we actually need to go on the internet, go search for one. Uh, and I actually did a little search already. I just typed in core three by three PNG. I clicked on images and obviously you probably don't want that, but maybe you want to get crazy. Um, so scroll down, and here is an image that would work great. Go ahead and click on that image, left click, and then at that point, it has the little logo or the little icon right there. Just right click on it, and then save image as. And you can see it's a JPEG. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit save. And then basically we have to convert that into a PNG. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Microsoft Paint, which is just in your all programs, accessories, paint. Now, I've already gone through these steps, but I will start over just so we can make sure everybody knows what's going on. Um, we'll click on new, save. So open. And then you need to find that file that you just saved, which mine's under downloads. And it's under JPEG. Click open. And then you want to save that as a PNG because Show Express only recognizes PNGs in 2D view. So 2D view mode. Um, so click on PNG picture. And downloads. Uh, just you can save it under downloads if you want. Or... Just to be safe, <clears throat> we're gonna throw it on our desktop. We're gonna hit save. I've already saved it. So it shouldn't, this shouldn't pop up, but I'm just gonna click yes. I'm gonna minimize, open up, set up again. Click on core three by three. And click on image. And then you need to go find that file, which we put on our desktop. Scroll down, here's our image, click open, and now you can see it switched it to the three by three. Click on the fixture on this side, again, this will pop up. You wanna click yes to save that. And when you look, it will be there again. Now we're gonna go into editor and we now have our core three by three, three by threes. Uh, now for placement, and again, we'll get into a lot more depth in the editor, but for placement, basically, uh, you know, if you're doing four corners of the room, 
Um, you can actually just pull them around wherever you want. And say your DJ booth setup is over here. You can put your core over there. You can put a core over here, maybe. There we go. Um, and the other nice thing too is say you're doing, you want uh, you know, a couple of these freedoms behind your DJ booth so you can kind of really create a cool club ambiance uh, on the walls and, and things like that. Then basically it's just moving these fixtures wherever you need them. Um, and then uh, as we get in a little bit deeper into editor, we will actually go through grouping and things like that as well. But uh, this is just, again, this one, this video is basically just a rundown on how to change these 2D views. So when you're working on them in editor, um, you know exactly which fixture you're working with. And then also um, in editor and in the DMX addressing, when we've labeled them freedom one, freedom two, three, and four, when you scan over it, you can see it says freedom one, freedom two, three, and four. So that's obviously your DMX addressing that you need. If this fixture is going over here, this fixture is going over here, this fixture is here, and this fixture is over here. Now you know that this is zero, zero, one. This one is, uh, let's see. No, I'm sorry. We started with our cores. Uh, you can see actually when you click on this, you can see on your control board here, this one starts at channel 19. This one starts at channel 24. This one starts at 29. This one starts at 34. So uh, again, we'll learn more about that in editor uh, in the editor videos. Uh, but uh, just wanted to do a little bit more into the setup because we had some questions on that. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's been helpful. And if you have questions, feel free to email me, jeremy at djjrshoptime.com. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time.